We are now using the substitution method in solving a linear system. Now in basic algebra, we know that if we are given a function, let's say 2x plus 3, and x is equal to 3, by substitution method, we will replace the value of x by a number 3, so we can simplify the expression, giving us 9. So 2x plus 3, when x is equal to 3, is simply 9 by the substitution rule. Now, for today, we're going to use that basic skill in algebra that we have learned before in solving our linear system. In our first example, we need to solve the linear system of a linear equation by substitution method. And this is the linear system that we will use in our first example. We have 2x plus 3y is equal to 19, and y is equal to 2x plus 1. Now, conceptually, we know that in solving a linear system, given that this is line 1, let's say this is 2x plus 3y is equal to 19, and this is y is equal to 2x plus 1, if we find the point of intersection of this these two lines, we'll be able to find the solution of our linear system. But this time, we are no longer seeing the graph, but we are using the substitution method in solving for the solution of our linear system. Now, in this linear system, we have line 1 and line 2. Now, the first step that you need to do is to observe and look at your linear system and check which line will you be able to use in the substitution rule. Now, we have two lines right here, and if you will notice, the second line is y equal to 2x plus 1. Now, since y is already by itself, we can use line 1 and replace the value of y in line y by this particular expression. So this time, it's not just a real number or a regular number that we are substituting to a variable. This time, we are substituting y by an algebraic expression, which is 2x plus 1. And that, was, that will be our step 1 in the substitution method, choosing 2x plus 3y is equal to 19, and replacing y by 2x plus 1, we'll have 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 1 is equal to 19. Now, by distributing 3 to our 2x plus 1, we'll have 6x plus 3. And by combining like terms, we'll be able to simplify our equation, and 2x plus 6x will give us 8x, bring down 3 and 19, and we'll have this particular equation, which is 8x plus 3 is equal to 19. Now, we can see that we can just solve for the value of x using our basic algebra scale. So we subtract 3 on both sides, so we can have x by itself, leaving us with 8x is equal to 16. And by dividing both sides by 8, x is now equal to 2. And we have found the first coordinate of our linear system, which is x equal to 2. Now, our next goal is to find the value of y by substituting our value of x, which is 2, to our second line, which is 2x plus 1, or y equal to 2x plus 1. And by substitution, substitution method, x will become 2 because x is equal to 2 from our step number 1. Multiplying 2 and 2 will give us 4, so therefore y is equal to 5. And the solution of the linear system will be 2 and 5. So the point of intersection of these two lines will be 2 and 5, and we're able to find this uh, solution without even seeing the graph. And for our second example, for our new linear system, let's say we have x plus 2y is equal to 17, and x is equal to 3y plus 2. Now, for this example, x is already by itself, so for our first step, we will use x plus 2y is equal to 17, and we will replace x by 3y plus 2. And by simplifying our equation, we can combine 3y and 2y, leaving us with 5y plus 2 equal to 17. And by solving for the value of y, we will subtract 2 on both sides, leaving us with 5y is equal to 15. And by dividing both sides by 5, y is equal to 3. So now that we have found y, we can find x by using line 2, which is x is equal to 3y plus 2, and replace y by 3. And by simplifying our expression, x will be equal to 11. So the solution of our linear system will be 11 and 3. And that's how we use the substitution method in solving a linear system. Now let's have our third example.
Now in our third example, if you will notice, no linear equation in our system of linear equation which has a var variable by itself. So this is different from example number one and example number two. Now the first step that we need to do is to decide which linear equation are we going to manipulate. And in this case, I chose line one so that I could have y by itself by subtracting 3x on both sides, leaving me with a variable y equal to an expression. And that's what I did on my first step. I chose line 1 and subtract 3x on both sides. So I'll have y is equal to 16 minus 3x. So now my linear system is now looking like the first two examples that we did. We have a line which is a variable equal to expression and our linear um, equation in general form. So what I will do on step number two is to use line two, which is x minus three y is equal to two, and replace y by my line one, which is now y is equal to 16 minus three x. So by substitution method, this is like example number one and example number two all over again. So I'm going to distribute three to 16 minus three x, leaving me with x minus 48 plus nine x equal to two. And by combining like terms, I can add x and nine x, leaving me with 10 x minus 48 equal to two. So since I'm solving for x, I will get rid of negative 48 by adding 48 on both sides, giving me 10 x is equal to 50, which is x is equal to five. So now that I have x is equal to five, I can find my value of y using line one by replacing x with five. So I have y is equal to 16 minus three x, which gives me 16 minus three times five. And if I simplify my equation, I'll have y is equal to one. So my solution for my linear system will be five and one. Now, what if instead of choosing line 1 to manipulate, I chose line 2 to uh, manipulate and change it in such a way that it's going to be x by itself? Will I still have the same answer? And that's what I'm going to show you in this example. So given the same linear system, I decided that I'm going to change line 2 instead. And now my line 2 from x minus 3y is equal to 2, adding 3y on both sides, will give me x is equal to 3y plus 2. So that means on my second step, I will use 3x plus y is equal to 16, and replace x by 3y plus 2. And by distributing 3 to 3y plus 2, I'll have 9y plus 6 plus y equal to 16. And by combining like terms, 10y plus 6 is equal to 16 will become 10y equal to 10 by subtracting 6 on both sides. Now to have y by itself, we will divide both sides by 10 so that y is equal to 1. So my second or my third step will be to use my second line, which is now x is equal to 3y plus 2, and replace y by 1. So now x is equal to 3 plus 2, which gives me 5. So my solution for this linear system will be 5 and 1, which is the same as the answer that I have on the previous example. And that's how we use the substitution method in finding the solution of the system of linear equation.